my yes. shot. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hello, my name is Ayo and I'm a pervert. I don't think there's anything wrong about being a pervert at all. I think it's in all of us to varying degrees. Some people know how to express it and some people keep it bottled up. But I think it's amazing. Um, I think if you're attending the first party for the first time, just do your research. I think that's so important. Find out what it is, what the dress code is, and find out the rules of actually being there. You know, what you can touch, who you can touch, you can speak to about consent, and just bring yourself. You know, just bring your personality to the place, and everyone will be happy. It takes a while. It takes a while to find out. I mean, for me, it's changing is quite fluid you know you could be into spit play one week and then you could be into piss play the next you know it differs um but the best way is just to carry on exploring carry on researching carry on playing with people and then you know you just carry on building this spider web of like all your kings and it's amazing I think one of the major differences is that the safety element in sex positive spaces is that people, generally most people there for the same kind of thing, wanting to express themselves in this safe, sexual, positive space. And people generally know the rules and then everyone polices each other. So then things like sex harassment, they're just very rare occurrences. Unlike when you go to just general other random clubs where they might preach about it but you know there's dickheads there's just awful people there just trying to prey on people but in these safer spaces you know if i see anyone just over seven a mark then i'm turning them off and i can go and speak to dungeon monitors and get them chucked out so it definitely feels a lot safer what surprised me is definitely just the ability to feel free, the ability that, you know, I could be naked, me and my partner could be naked, just doing stuff, and you don't feel as if people are gonna do harm to you. You know, you definitely feel there's a certain level of organization and safety in there where you are able to explore, and that just feels magical. I mean, one of the best things was when I was first in the space, I felt like I You really don't have to play. You don't have to play at all. You don't have to have sex. Um, in places like KV, where the music is just brilliant, that you know they get some of the best DJs in. And there's some parties I just dance. I just dance and dance and dance until I just sweat through all my latex. But then even if you do go into the play spaces, you don't have to play. It. You don't actually have to have sex. You can participate in other things like impact stuff, or you know you could participate in pet play, you don't actually have to have any sexual experiences there. You really don't. I mean, obviously I have the privilege of being male and such, but you know, I don't, you know, you don't really see that many people exactly that look like me in these spaces, but you, you really don't. I mean, if you're plus size, if you're black, Asian, trans, queer, like, these places is for everyone. It's for everyone to explore, and that's the main thing. Like, yes, you could be that, you know, person with tattoos and stuff, but, you know, just bring your body and you'll be accepted. My best advice would be to turn up early. Turn up early, start talking to people. Just start, just talking to people about the weather and then you can start talking about what you're into, what kind of like kinks you're looking to explore. And if, you know, you can find that many people want to play with you. If not that, you get the best trained dungeon monitors and staff at KV so you can speak to them. And then they can also help facilitate what, uh, what kind of play you want to engage with. 
So definitely get there and communicate and communicate and just talk about consent. Those are the easiest things to do. What you need to wear, just bring yourself. But for me, in my first ever um, party that I went to, I just got some cheap PVC, PVC shorts and a harness. And I felt like I was underdressed. I didn't feel, before going, I felt like I wouldn't fit in. But I turned up and you realize people are in different degrees. Some people are really dressed up to the nines in all different kind of costumes. Some people are naked. So like really don't let that stop you. Just do a little bit of research online, go on their Instagrams, go on their websites, and just get, that's an idea, a rough guide, but you don't have to look exactly like them. Just dress, just be comfortable in what you're wearing.